going to look at the uh, reason that we have seasons here on Earth. As you can see on the globe, we have our red line, which is our imaginary line for the equator. And right now, the equator is horizontal, and it divides the Earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. This is not actually how the Earth is oriented. It is actually tilted on its axis at approximately 23.4 degrees. And so it, sometimes it's tilted um, towards the sun. And then as it revolves around the sun, the tilt stays the same direction, but it would be tilted away from the sun. So the reason that we have seasons is because of this tilt. If we didn't have the tilt, all areas of the Earth would get the same types of sun rays all year long. But because it's tilted, we get different types of sun rays. And there are two types of sun rays, direct sun rays and indirect sun rays. So currently, here in the southern hemisphere, they would be receiving direct sun rays. And the direct sun rays are these circular, would be demonstrated by these a circle of intense light from my flashlight. So this area is getting direct sun rays and those direct sun rays are very strong and they can heat up the earth and the land and the water more quickly than indirect sun rays. Indirect sun rays would look more like this where my flashlight is at an angle and they're still receiving light, it's still, uh, they, they, they do get a little less light per day, but the sun rays are also uh, less intense, so those would be indirect sun rays. Here the United States would be receiving those direct sun rays, those circle shaped rays, similar to these, and these circle rays would uh, make it warm as we get in the summertime, but then the southern hemisphere would be getting those indirect sun rays. So the reason that we have seasons is not because of getting closer or further to the sun. It's not because the equator is closer to the sun. It's because of the type of sun rays that we get. As a matter of fact, when it is winter time in the United States, we're actually approximately three million miles closer to the sun. So think about that. When it's winter, it's cold here, we're actually three million miles closer to the sun. But because we are so far away from the sun, that three million miles doesn't make a huge difference um, in the temperatures that we have. It's the type of rays and how they are hitting the earth that affect us. Um, the tilt also always stays the same. The earth would always be tilted um, the same direction. It does not wobble back and forth. So the main thing to, t to remember is that the distance from the sun has nothing to do with why we have the seasons. Uh, when I teach this, I try to stay away from the word distance because uh, one of the main misconceptions is that we have summertime because we are closer to the sun. Um, but as I said, that is impossible because we're actually closer to the sun in the winter time and when it's summertime in the northern hemisphere it's going to be winter time in the southern hemisphere and so if it were just because we were closer you couldn't have two places such as South America and North America um, having two different seasons at the same time unless it was caused by its tilt to the Earth's axis which is causing direct and indirect sun rays. Um, and that's the best way that I can describe it um, that I know of.